What up, players? It's Warboss Sam and Mug. I got a Chaos Space Marine Rhino here that I built up specifically for a local painting competition. This one is going to have a focus on conversions, so I'm really happy to have built up this Chaos Space Marine Rhino. Now, uh, the last time I entered this uh, the, this game store, they had four categories uh, in a painting competition, and uh, you might have seen my videos. I entered a Thunder Tusk, an Empire Volley Rocket, a squad of handgunners, and Gut Rot Spume. I was lucky enough to take two first places. The uh, Gut Rot Spume and the Artillery Battery won first place for, I think they're single figure and uh, artillery piece for Age of Sigmar. This one is just like conversion focused and for any Games Workshop model. I decided to go with this because uh, in the end I was like, oh maybe I'll do an Imperial Guard squad that is utilizes like goblin lower body, uh, lower half of their bodies, the goblin legs and goblin heads and, and Imperial Guard torsos and arms or maybe I'll do like orcs with a bunch of Space Marines and Imperial Guard bits on it but in the end, I think because I'm so slammed with commissions, I wanted to do something that was relatively simple. It's gonna be an easy color scheme to do. The word bearers is very primarily red with silver trim. And because Space Marine vehicles are mainly just one color anyways, I think it's gonna be a lot of fun to do this one up. And then if you're interested in purchasing it later, I'm gonna put it up for sale on my web store. I've got a lot of great items in the web store, things that I've been working on recently. Everything from the painting competition is up there as well as uh, the army bundle deals I've had up there for a while. So if you're interested in anything, check out the web store at my website and uh, you can have a piece of my personal collection for yourself. But uh, what do I want to talk about with this piece is just because it's for a conversion theme, conversion, I guess basically uh, focused, conversion focused painting competition, I wanted to really, I guess, hone in on what the word bearers symbolized to me and that is just evil religious fanatics. They have taken the religious extreme and uh, they, they've just gone off the rails with it. So their, their views, their beliefs in chaos and uh, it being the all-powerful force in the universe and uh, that real gods exist and they're evil and they want to destroy humanity and so if you side with them they will give you so much power, more power than you've ever had and all you have to do is renounce humanity and uh, everything that humanity stands for. So it's, it's a really twisted concept. I've been talking to, responding to this one commenter on YouTube who's been asking me all these great, I guess, philosophical questions about chaos and why anyone would, would want to uh, fall to chaos and choose chaos over the Imperium and over the Emperor. And um, to me, the basic thing about it is that chaos represents immediate power and relief from the things that you hate. And in the 40, 41st millennium where Warhammer 40k, like the, the universe is just grim, dark, ugly, terrifying, and just not a nice place to be. If you're a regular human, you do not have many if at all basic rights, you're almost treated like cattle or as an animal. And that's if you're working for the good guys, you're often tread upon and used as as bait or fodder. And yeah, it's like a it's like a crazy, weird, fascist re regime. And that's if you side with the good guys and, and you live in the Imperium. So for those people where life is just hopeless, a lot of them have turned to worshiping chaos because Chaos is like an immediate way to gain power, to gain relief from, from your, uh, your, your drudgery, the terrible existence. I think that's what I, what I love about the appeal of chaos is not just uh, power and blood for the blood god and uh, all that crazy stuff, but the fact that we often forget that we live in a society, in a world here in 2016, where uh, we are able to to do a lot of what we want if we have the uh, we have the means to achieve our dreams if we have dreams and, and they're they're not illegal or weird or creepy then uh, we can go out and we can do that we can work hard we can study and we can achieve our dreams so like we live in a very very good good place at a very good time where we have a lot of basic civil liberties we have the internet we have all these freedoms 
that these poor people in Warhammer 40k do not have. So a lot of them turn to chaos. A lot of them get sick and they want to feel better. So they will uh, pray to Nurgle because Nurgle is the god of sickness. He gives, uh, he blesses people with sicknesses so he can, instead of, <laughs> the twisted thing about chaos is, instead of taking away your sickness, when you pray to Nurgle, he makes it so that your body is stronger so that it can not only withstand the effects of and the symptoms of the whatever sickness he's giving you but can also let that sickness grow within you and mutate and change and become an even better more beautiful and deadly disease and sickness and in in a way he's saying like okay i will take away your pain because i will not I'll make it so you won't feel pain anymore. I'll make you huge and bloated and give you all these other sicknesses to take away the symptoms of this first disease that you have and you're just gonna become a walking, breeding pool of disease. Or if you are, like, if, if you want to have power and you want to be, uh, like, a politician or you want to be able to control the people around you, you could pray to, uh, to Zinch or to Slanesh and they will make you charismatic and uh, outgoing popular and or, or Zinch will make you smart and give you so much power and knowledge and all this forbidden knowledge but uh, at the same time they are going to be taking your souls as well or if you are just weak or you are tired of people bullying you and um, usually in the 41st millennium might equals right so some people will pray to corn to give them strength to give them courage to give them bravery and uh, in the end, it just makes them frothing, bloodthirsty lunatics that don't care about anything but going out and fighting. So uh, I love the twisted idea that chaos is, is, is inherently evil. Everything about it is terrible. And you're, you're taught from a very young age never, never, never to uh, accept or pray or dabble in anything with chaos. And, uh, but, but, but people do that because they want just release from their their everyday lives. And we've totally gotten off topic now, seven minutes into this video that should be about kid bashing a word bearer's rhino. But that's kind of the mentality. I wanted to uh, make a war machine that wasn't just a tank or, or an armored personnel carrier, but was a, I guess, a, a reflection of the faith that these uh, twisted people had. And it's not just the Chaos Space Marines who are genetically bred to be super soldier monks and just believe wholeheartedly in their mission, but also the twisted ideas that they are the ones doing these atrocities and committing these horrible crimes, but that they are followed by regular people who, um, who throw their lot in with them and become cultists or just uh, hangers-ons and just slaves. And uh, they willingly do that because they believe that chaos is the answer to their prayers and their problems will all be solved because uh, they pray and they worship chaos. So this rhino has uh, everything from the chaos rhino sprue built onto it. I've added this brazier from the Bretonian sprue. I think this barrel is from the Imperial tank sprue. All of the chain you see is from Gale Force 9 and uh, a lot of the purity seals are from the Space Marine kit or some of the things like this um, this sword that's been bolted to the door. The uh, Some of the little prayer bits are from Grey Knight's sprues and a lot, if, if you look on eBay, there are some bit sellers who sell just purity seals and uh, different bits from from other plastic kits and uh, I think Dark Angels has has a bunch. Grey Knight's definitely, Space Marines of course, so yeah, you can find all of the bits just in your in your kit if you're if you're a collector and you probably have a bunch of plastic sprues in your collection just gathering dust cut off the bits and use them for something else the uh, torso is just a spare space marine torso that i've i've gotten the arms i did this before for another word bearers rhino i chained the torso onto the front of it and that is basically just the shoulder pads from the Space Marine kit and two arms that I cut off at the elbows. So what I do is I just add some Tamiya Clear Red to make it look like uh, his arms have been severed below the elbows. You don't really need to do anything under the torso. If you want, you could add the zombie intestines, but I think it's fine without it. Just add a bunch of Tamiya Clear Red. If you want to make some green stuff guts, you could do that and be just really creative. 
but the head is actually from the zombie kit from Warhammer Fantasy. I love this head. I'm going to zoom in and take a look at it more because it really looks like they've um, flayed off his skin. They've, they've used him in a ritual and just totally uh, ripped off the skin. And I think that's the best head on the zombie, zombie kit if you're doing kind of like these uh, looking like totems or, or sacrificial... I guess just decor decorative pieces. So I'm gonna paint this up and it's it should not take very long. Again, it's gonna be a very basic paint job. I'm gonna enter it into my local painting competition. We'll see how we do. But uh, yeah, I can't wait to show you guys some of the other work I've got on my channel. So thanks for watching. You can check out my Facebook for all the pictures I'm gonna be posting up. I'm also gonna be posting up pictures on Twitter and I've got a Patreon, so if you want to follow my work there, I'm going to be posting a bunch of stuff there as well. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day. Let me know if you have any questions about anything in this kit. I'd love to, I guess, share my experiences with you on them, and we'll see you in the next video.